The land in the spirit visits Hebron. Located at the center of the Judea region, approximately 20 miles southwest of Jerusalem, Hebron was originally known in the Torah as Kiryat Arba, and is one of the four holy cities in the land of Israel, along with Jerusalem, Tiberias, and Sfat. Although Hebron is situated in hilly terrain over 3,000 feet above sea level, it sits in a valley that collects the winter rains that enrich its soil. Hebron's well-known orchards produce apples, plums, nuts, and melons. The city also boasts many fig and olive trees, as well as beautiful vineyards. Grapes, figs, and olives are three of the special fruits that Israel is noted for. The old city of Hebron has narrow winding streets, flat-roofed stone houses, and old bazaars and markets. The city is also known for its pottery workshops and glass-blowing factories. Hebron is one of the most ancient cities in the Middle East, and one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world. Our forefather Abraham lived in Hebron for many years. It was there that Abraham circumcised himself at age 99, and while recuperating, three angels appeared to him to inform him that one year later his barren wife Sarah would bear a son named Isaac. Hebron is called Ir Ha'avot, the city of the patriarchs as it is the site of the cave of the Machpelah, the burial place of the four couples, Adam and Eve, Abraham and Sarah, Isaac and Rebekah, and Jacob and Leah. Rachel's tomb is located near Bethlehem. The Torah records that after Sarah died, Abraham legally purchased the land from Ephron for a sum of 400 gold coins. Years later, when the Jews were in the desert and twelve spies were sent by Moses to scout out the land, Caleb went to Hebron to pray by the graves of the patriarchs that he not be enticed by his colleagues to be part of their wicked council. When Joshua led the Jews into the land, the city of Hebron was captured by Caleb, and the fields of the city and its villages were granted to him in accordance with Moses' instructions. From biblical times up until this very day, Jews have always lived in this holy city except when foreign rulers banned their presence. During the 16th century, exiled Spanish Jews established the Jewish quarter of Hebron and built the Avraham Avinu Shul, one of Israel's most beautiful and famous synagogues. In the beginning of the 19th century, many Chabad Hasidim moved to Hebron to establish a community. In 1879, Avraham Romano, a wealthy Jew from Turkey, built a beautiful house known as Beit Romano. In the 1900s, an additional floor was added and a medical clinic by the name of Beit Hadassah was opened. In 1929, the Jewish community numbered about 1,500 persons. That year, on Friday, August 23rd, and on the next day, Shabbat. Arabs armed with knives, axes, and pitchforks launched an attack on Jewish homes. Dozens were killed and wounded. Three days later, the British evacuated the remaining Jews from the city. In June of 1967, during the Six-Day War, the Israeli army gained control of Hebron without a single shot being fired. In 1971, Jews built a beautiful town in the outskirts of Hebron and named it Kiryat Arba, Today, Kiryat Arba has a population of about 7,000 people. The Midrash reports an interesting episode that happened while Abraham was taking care of the three angels that had visited him. While chasing a calf he hoped to serve them, he came upon the graves of Adam and Eve. According to the Zohar, when Abraham entered the cave, a doorway of Gan Eden was revealed to him. Through this portal he saw the likeness of Adam, the only man who ever lived in Gan Eden. Abraham identified the man in the cave, his wife Eve, and the scent of paradise. The cave of the Machpelah was thus a gateway to the spirituality experienced only by Adam and Eve before they ate from the tree of knowledge. Throughout our history, Jews have gone to Hebron to pray at the cave of Machpelah, to connect to this source of spirituality, and to ask our holy patriarchs and matriarchs to beseech God on behalf of their children. 
Join us next week for Lesson 3, The Holy Land, where we explore how the sanctity of the land of Israel is infused in its ancient stones and how that impacts the way we live on that land. We will visit another one of the holy cities, Tiberias, a place that was known as the center of Torah study.